You guys, how has nobody reviewed the Purple People Eater yet? No! It's just an idea. No. Too soon. So the Purple People Eater holds a very special place in my heart. I used to rent this movie religiously. Like, every time I go to the video store, my dad would be like, Really? You're renting this again? And I'm like, yeah, it's your Vistra Mac and me. But let's talk about the all-star cast. This movie has Neil Patrick Harris... Uh, guest appearances by Chubby Checker, Little Richard, Dustin Freakin' Diamond. Uh, we have a six-year-old Thora Birch. Uh, we have uh, Shelly Winters, Ned Beatty, and yeah, it has Dustin Diamond. Look at those freaking shorts. Yeah, this movie has it all, and like, I've asked so many people in my life, have you guys seen the Purple People here? And they're like, nope, what is that? And I just walk away. Just walk away. I have to give a fair warning. This is my first video crap review for a movie I have actually already seen, and I have a biased love for it. So, like, even though I know it's bad or not probably good, I don't care because I love it, and I'm not going to find much fault with it. So, with that said, uh, let's get into it. How about you? You eat breakfast? Prunes. Six prunes a day. Every day. So, what is the Purple People Eater? Well, have you ever heard the song? Well, I saw the thing coming out of the sky. It was one eye, one horn, flying purple people. The movie's about Billy, which is uh, played by uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, and he's like this lonely kid who doesn't have friends. He just has a bunch of animals that he brings home every day. Uh, he's got like a couple dogs. He's got uh, a, a really annoying goose. Promise me you won't bring home another animal. Not one. I promise. Not even as a present like Easter. <laughs> okay? I don't know why you gave me a goose for Easter. Shut up! And then we have Billy's grandpa, who's played by Ned Beatty, and he comes over to stay with the family for a short time. And in the meantime, Billy gets to deal with this, like, pesky kid neighbor, Donna, who clearly has a crush on him. You want to go to the museum with me? I really should help out my grandpa. And unfortunately for her, Neil Patrick Harris doesn't swing that way. I thought you were gay! I am gay. Now the plot of this movie is basically another one of those, you know, lonely kid befriends an alien creature, uh, sort of in the vein of E.T. And just like E.T., I experienced something so traumatic. I think if I had to narrow down two movies that were just like so traumatic for me, it was this, and it was also E.T. Uh, because in E.T., when Elliot goes in the bushes after a freaking baseball comes flying out of his shed, he goes into the bushes, and he's slowly climbing through there, and all of a sudden, E.T.'s just like... <laughs> so, in about 14 minutes and 30 seconds in, there's a scene where Billy and his grandpa are painting, right? And once that painting scene starts, I can literally just feel the trembling fear just just rolling down my back because I know it's coming. And yeah, this scene where Grandpa and Billy are painting is definitely innocent. You know, they're just having fun rubbing paint all over themselves and rocking out to different songs. And then I love this part where Billy teaches Grandpa about punk rock. What's it look like? Huh? It's very punk. <laughs> is that good or bad? Well, that could be okay. So the record player switches songs and Sheb Woolley's hit song starts. The Purple People Eater. <laughs> And it begins. At this point, it's inevitable. I know that furry one-eyed freak is out to get me. I come in to shake it and I said, it looks like a purple people leader to me. So Billy looks outside, sees a purple blast of light going to a tree, and his curiosity gets to him. Oh, Billy, don't go out there. Just don't. I'm getting the chills thinking about this. I, this is seriously like such a... I, I think I need to go to a therapist because of this movie. I like, it's not the whole movie. It's just this first 15, 20 minutes. After this, I'm good. But it's like almost, it's literally almost hard to talk about because it's just so scary as a kid. I don't know why for me.
But real talk, they should have made this costume a bit more like kid friendly, but he has one eye and a horn and he's purple and furry, so I don't really know what else I could have done anyway. And then he starts playing the horn pretty aggressively at Billy, jumping down the tree and dancing. Okay, Billy, you're not freaked out as much as you should be. Look at that thing. That was amazing. I mean, gosh, you can... And yeah, I swear, I totally forgot he made noises. <laughs> and he talks. Billy. Uh, Billy. Right, right. Uh. So the story continues, and Billy has to hide purple in his garage for the night. And yeah, look how he sleeps. <laughs> uh, night, night, little purple. Happy dreams. Billy. And then the next morning, Billy goes to look for purple. Uh, and he finds him taking a nice roll in the dryer. Purple. Ooh. Warm. So warm. Mm. Soon after this, Billy and his grandpa find Purple randomly playing his horn at the mall. And then Purple proceeds to uh, introduce himself to Grandpa. I'm a one-night, one-horn, flying purple people eater. <laughs> Mr. Purple People Eater, what's your life? Oh, we're eating purple people and it sure is fine. And then Grandpa has a genius idea to say, hey, you guys should start a band together. And so they take his idea and they start a band. They hold auditions in his garage. And the best part of this scene is we get to see Screech playing guitar. <laughs> And seriously, how do I go from being so terrified to this guy to thinking he's like the cutest, cuddliest thing ever? Look at him. Do you want to sleep with the little puppy dog? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wiener dog. So in E.T., we had an evil government coming after him. Uh, in this movie, no, we don't have any of that. We just have a landlord that's trying to kick old people out of their houses. And one of those people is Rita, who is played by Shelley Winters. The landlord stresses her out to no end, and then a day later, Grandpa gets a frightening phone call. It's Rita. She's sick. She, she hasn't been eating right or something. She fainted and fell down. I'll go get dressed. Wow, that was kind of sad. I hope she's okay. A uh, little soup? No! How about a glazed donut? Oh, hello. It's so good to see both of you. Come on, you could never turn down a glazed donut. Really? A glazed donut? Who brings glazed donuts to people who are potentially dying? Well, to be fair, I think I'd like that. Come on, they're tasty. Just one meeting. Uh, stop flirting and you can take your break now. Man, old people get jealous quick. So then Grandpa asks Rita about why she's not been eating. What is the point of eating? Uh, what do you mean, what's the point of eating? The point of eating is to eat because it tastes good, duh. The doctor says you're okay. Yes, but the doctor isn't being pushed out of his home. I've lived here over 22 years, and not once, not once was I ever late with my rent check. Yeah, now just calm down, Reed, okay? I want to die in my own home, among my own things. Not on some strange street somewhere. <laughs> okay, did you hear that? She wants to die, like potentially commit suicide by not eating, because she's too stubborn to basically go homeless instead of getting kicked out of her apartment. Anyway, what happened to Purple? Uh, I love her. 
And then we get to see the beginning of a flourishing relationship between Rita and the People Eater. Hmm, where did you learn how to play cards so good? You know, in a movie like this, it's obviously really easy to pick apart and hate on. But I have to bring up, uh, there's a scene where uh, the Purple People Eater saves uh, little Thora Birch from falling off the roof of their house. Um, and then this happens. Longfellow. Longfellow. Bad doggy. I like him. So one of two things is happening here. Either he's like trying to weirdly kiss her, or, well, he's a people eater. He's trying to eat her. <laughs> and then with the next scene, the movie just takes a huge tonal shift. Uh, the evil landlord comes back and serves Rita and Grandpa their eviction papers. I'm converting this place to condos. Rita! Paramedics have done a fine job. Now it's up to Rita. I'm not gonna lie, this scene tears me up to watch. The last 30 minutes of the movie consists of Purple having the idea to have a Save Our Seniors benefit concert to raise money for uh, all the people and the neighbors to not get evicted from their homes. And of course, the landlord gets wind of this and he decides to take matters into his own hands by kidnapping the Purple People Eater. If I didn't know any better, I could take the scene out of context. Now hold still. Hold still! <laughs> Right, 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 right. Shut up! I don't want anybody to hear. Got it? <laughs> now look, you sit still. And one peep out of you, and I gag you. And like the big dummy he is, Purple waits until the next morning to try to escape when the landlords awake too. And with the help of a police escort as well as a horseback ride, Purple eventually makes it back to the concert. It's at this moment that Purple teaches Billy a lesson. P Purple, you made it! I couldn't have done it without you. You just did. You're right. I think it's time, Billy. Wait, what's it time for? Sorry about that. Obscure wrestling references. So when Purple hints that it's time for him to leave, it's supposed to be a sad moment, but we really don't get that moment in this movie. I mean, Purple came and made these great relationships, especially with Rita, and he doesn't even say goodbye to Rita. She's just hanging out in the crowd, clapping to the music, and he just leaves. And then the movie just ends like that. Like, literally, he just goes in the sky. And the screen turns blue. What kind of ending is that? Well, that, my friends, is a purple people eater. I sincerely hope you go check this out sometime in its entirety to see what I left out. But in the meantime, I hope Michael Bay reboots this. Hey, you're a lucky winner. You made it to the end of this video. But no, you don't win anything. This is just me to tell you that if you like what you saw, please subscribe, send me a message, leave me a comment, like the video. Let's talk about some bad movies. Give me some suggestions for what you'd like to see in the future.